Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping Like a Girl, or welcome to, if you are new, I'm Natalie. Today we are in our other bee yard, and really excited to check these hives. All of them are single brood management, so hopefully they're doing good and not swarming. Um, I've been at camp for about the last mm -hmm. week, and really enjoyed that, but definitely have missed the bees, and want to get in the bees and see how they're doing. So we're going to do that. Also, one thing I want to mention, at the end of this video, I'm going to put in some photos of some young beekeepers. And if you want to participate in that and know a, anybody younger that is into beekeeping, I will leave the video, I think it's right here, I'm not sure, of a link for that video and it'll just kind of tell you a little bit um, on what we're doing with that. And I think it's at the end of the video that I explain it and I'll also try to leave my email in the description down below or in the comments, whatever I decide to do. And you can email me some photos of those but let's go ahead and get into the bees and see how they're doing. So I picked this hive because it only has two supers on it, which means I only need to lift two boxes on camera. And let's go ahead and check them and see how they look. Our main flow is definitely on right now. So hopefully they're starting to fill this. There's a lot of bees up in here and it looks like they're definitely working the outside frames. So that's exciting. I'm going to go ahead and take this off and go down to the bottom box, but I'll put it back on and maybe check this top super and see what it looks like if it's full of honey. super is pretty heavy. Let's see if I can lift this. That wasn't too bad. Looks like they're feeling this one too. Not as much as that one though. Like these outside frames that have still foundation on it. And they're not quite drawing it out. Looks like they're working on it though, so that's good. All right, let's just, I'm gonna do a tip test on them if they have swarm cells. If they're, you're new here, basically bees will swarm and it's kind of like they leave the hive um, and they always put the cells at the bottom of the box. So I just tip the box up and check to see if there are some cells down there. So let's do that. It's always fun when there's bees all over the outside. Like that one has them all in the handle so it's really hard to get that box up but it doesn't look like it's too bad over here. I'm hoping there's no swarm cells. Looks like there's a lots of cups. That one's There is stuff in that one. You don't like have to tear down the cups, but I always do. Looks like there's really anything in them except for this one. That looks good. I'm gonna call that good and just put them back together. This part's always fun trying to line it up with that bottom board. Looks pretty good. 
My smoker is still broken. If you watched that one video, I, I think it was our last video, I'm not sure. I did break my smoker, but it's it still works just fine. I mean, that's all right. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the super back on. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just grab another super to put on here because our flow is on and I wanna be thinking ahead. We have a whole video on that, on thinking ahead because you never know what's gonna happen in the next two days and we're not gonna be here in the next two days. So I'm gonna quickly go grab a super to put on here. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed another super but my mom did correct me. Um, I did say that they always put cells at the bottom, but they don't always put cells at the bottom. Like when they do super procedure or emergency cells, it'll be at more at like the top of the frame or the middle, but there's normally cells at the bottom when they have swarm cells. But just wanted to say that. So this is a freshly waxed dip box. We have a video on wax dipping and that was so fun and I can't wait to do that again. This is all foundation. We don't have much drawn comb left, which kind of sucks for the bees because they have to draw it all out. But once they draw it out, it'll be a lot easier for them in the future. But when we have these uh, foundation frames, I just shake the box and it evens them out like perfectly. So I'm just gonna shake it and then put this on. Now, one thing I've learned is that it's normally better to put the super that you're adding right next to the brood box, and they seem to work it faster. That's just from testing it. I don't know if it's true. I think it is. I mean, it, they work it a lot faster. So then I'm going to put the next lightest super on top, and then the heaviest super will go on the top, which is always fun when it's like, all the way up here. You're gonna lift it all the way up there, which isn't normally easy. Or at least it's not easy for me. Okay, I'm gonna put this super on. And I'm gonna go ahead and check this super and see what it looks like. Looks like they're working it on the outside. I forgot a refractometer, um, which is for testing the honey. So I'm just gonna kind of look at it and see what it looks like, I guess. I don't know, I can't test it. So they are starting to fill it. This is all filled. And so is this side. I'm just gonna take a little bit with my hive tool. So that seems like definitely not as thick as I think it would be. But like it's pretty thick, but I still, that's definitely still too thin. That's just by guessing. I don't really know if it what I can't guess the number though so that's definitely not ready though um, let's go ahead and check a middle frame I just like to look at it I like to see the capped honey and I can't wait to extract we have some pretty big plans coming up yeah, this is like pretty capped I mean this side has a good amount of capping on it and then this side has it too. I talked about this before on my last video, but you definitely can't be sure on what level your honey is at until you test it. Because there's just so many different opinions on it. Some people will say if it's completely capped, then it's ready. And if it's not capped, then it's not. But I've already talked about that before, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know, we'll go ahead and test it. I don't know, in a couple days or so, whenever we get back here and see what number it's at. And that's pretty much it. We're just doing that to all of our hives over here. 
and whenever the bees pretty much decide what we're doing, like this hive right here, the one over here decided to that I needed to check all the frames because they were swarming, so I did that, but we're gonna go ahead and check this hive and we'll be done over here, so that's what we've been doing today. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Follow along from Ruby Adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping Like a Girl.